There's no doubt about it, we are living in very musical times. We've seen Sonic Recordings, the new label, whole lots of bands writing their own songs, the rise of Shannon Cooper Garland and Jason Smith, and now we have it, another CD down here in the south. Here it is, Very Lemon Water. And the person who's behind it, well, having written all the songs himself, usually hidden away here at Mercury in the control room, but come out into the light. Marcel Curran, good evening. How you doing? I'm very good. How does it feel to be on this side of the camera instead of controlling uh, things? It's a bit out of, it's, um, yeah, a bit out of control, actually. I keep wanting to go, you know, Two shot on one, two shot on two, or something like that. Yeah, but uh, this is my chance to get right. you back because those bad shots that you put me in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Have about you that. been in front of the camera before? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm fr I'm from broadcasting school and stuff, so um, yeah. I've done a lot of experience there. And um, let's see, one time when I first started performing um, in Auckland, actually, I think it was, uh, we were at uh, I was in a Youth for Christ rally. Um, Three thousand people in the um, in the Auckland Town Hall, and I was playing this song on the piano, um, and it's quite a serious song. It starts off real serious and uh, soppy, and and uh, and then it gets all of a sudden it gets real funny because it's it's got a twist. But I can't tell it to you because it might spoil it. Uh, so so they're all laughing. There was three thousand people there, and that was a real buzz. But um, there was this camera right on the um, at the end of the grand piano, and he was just sort of like looking at me. And, and apparently, I worked out this later that they were showing my face on a big screen. Um, you didn't even know you were on the big screen. The no, backdrop. No, well, not no, no, no. And so I'm, I'm playing this. I'm playing this serious, soppy song, and I look up and I see this camera there, and uh, and I sort of gave this little wink or something, and so they all thought that was pretty cool. That, all, that was what brought them into eruptions of laughter. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, people tend to erupt into laughter when they <laughs> see me on camera. <laughs> I would agree with that. Hey, very lemon water here. I'm seeing interesting things on the background here. Uh, goatee, ode to all my flat. Give us a bit of this goatee. Goatee. Um, how does goatee go? Yeah, that's a song that I wrote about one of my flatmates. Perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> pretty simple. I think this is personal. Yeah. He wants to grow a goatee. He wants to be a man. He wants to grow a goatee. He don't know if he can. And it's hard. Getting through the transitional stage where there's nothing but wimpy, wispy little blonde flies legs. Sticking out at disappointing intervals. He wants a forest, but he's hardly got a garden. And all oh, I, can, like I can relate to that. That's tremendous. So look, I, I'm hearing comedy and I'm also hearing a piano background in there as yeah, well. Yeah. What, what's the range? Um, well, I mean, it's, I'm chiefly a pianist, originally a pianist. I started doing, uh, I learnt, um, grew up doing classical music. Uh, so on the CD there's um, a bit of classical-ish sounding piano, um, a bit of, you know, that sort of guitar, a bit of the old um, didgeridoo. Didgeridoo! Yeah. Um, <laughs> This was a wedding present, um, which, which my wife never thought I was going to actually, she got quite horrified once I started learning it. I thought I'd taught myself. So yeah, there's didgeridoo on there and a bit of harmonica and... Throwing everything, um, well, I think at this stage we want to actually not hear about it, we want to actually see it in action. So here we have Marcel Curran, who went to middle school recently, and here is room two and how they reacted to a song and a number he had out there. Let's go with the kids. And kids are very musical.
when you look at me, you probably do not see a model of perfection or symmetry. But if you look more closer and you see the way I'm made, you'll realise my designing is very, very, very top grade. Just look at my head and shoulders and knees and toes and eyes and ears and mouth and nose and belly button and bottom and my voice that I can use when I want to scream. I'm amazing. than McDonald's and KFC. I'm so sophisticated, no computer can design anybody just like me, and that's just very, very fine. Just look at my head and shoulders and knees and toes and eyes and There we are, room two at middle school. And there's the big thank you that they sent back. And that is huge. That is a very big thank you. And a lot of the pictures there have got the children's instruments that they used. And they had a lot of fun there, Marcel. But I, I think you had just as much fun. Yeah, yeah, I think I did. That was um, kind of a bit of a revelation watching that on the... <laughs> seeing them, seeing, it was good seeing all their instruments and stuff, eh? They, were, they did a really good job. Yeah, they're, they're a talent, aren't they? Kids are naturally musical. Yeah, for sure. Now, yeah. you're not just into the children's thing, although that was a special song, I guess, that one. Yeah, that song there, um, I wrote for, well, I wrote with my dad actually, um, a, uh, quite a few years ago, um, for a um, kid getting, um, uh, what was it, it was like a dedication at church, it wasn't a baptism or anything, but, um, yeah. and so me and dad wrote the song, and it's proved really useful ever since, and I've sung it um, lots of places, um, not just, not just for the young not, ones? Not, not, just, not just for the kids, no. Yeah. Okay, you, your wide range you mentioned before musically and also age group, I understand, that you've got some teenage songs there specifically and one is on a lot more serious note. Um, yeah, on the um, CD there's a song called Suddenly Nothing, um, which was a poem I wrote in response to a friend of mine whose ex-boyfriend um, committed suicide, um, which is pretty heavy. Um, and it's just a very simple little poem and it's a long, quite a long instrumental expressive piece of music. Uh, just working through it. Um, yeah, so in a moment yeah. I might ask you to, to play a verse from that if you like, but how does the process work for you, you know, when you're writing a song, what comes first? The ideas, the sound, or what? Um, well, it's a bit of everything, like I might have a tune, you know, I'm just mucking around on my guitar or on the piano, um, and I, I get a tune and I really like it, and uh, so then um, the trick is to get the words from an idea, you know, you've always got ideas, um, you know, I'll go away and I'm thinking about wanting to write some sort of song about that crazy Jerry guy who I sit on the couch with, um, and, I'll have, and you know, six months later I'll have a tune, yeah. uh, which will work, you know, with yeah. it, so it's just the trick of getting them together. It may take longer, now in this one of the suicide, suddenly nothing, what was the idea that you were working with and, and how did that come together? Um, well, the poem, the words came first with that one, and I actually specifically wrote the music for the, for the, um, for the words. Now I can't actually; it's actually a, it's a piano piece, so I can't can't play it for you. And um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the words came first, and I just um, sat can you, can down. Can you give us some words from that? The words from that uh, go: um, something they found in the lake was yesterday, writing a note, deciding to make himself suddenly nothing. 
and uh, it's basically all there is to it. And it's, with the music, it's yeah. you know, it's got a bit of room. Now, do, do you like to? I mean, your your songs are really fun. They're really comic. You've been in a comedy show and done really well there. Is there is there a message or a point to what you write, or is it is some of it just all flippant? <laughs> flippant. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, most but. of it is most of it is quite flippant, but um, yeah, I like to um, think that through. No matter what, how much fun I'm having, I'm, I'm being, a, being, being a bit of a jerk on, you know, on the stage. I went to a concert the other week and I performed with um, fluffy slippers and stuff, you know, and just, uh, I just like to think that um, no matter what, how silly I'm being and through all the lyrics that um, I think there's a lot of serious stuff, um, particularly about um, my Christian faith, which is um, pretty important to me. And, and I'd like to think that sort of seeps through. See through, it's all yeah. part of it. Yeah. Good on you, Marcel. What are you going to do next, what, what, musically? Musically? You want to sell your VT, your CD, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, I'll, I'll leave some here at um, Mercury and uh, at reception. Um, and uh, so if anyone wants them, they can cruise in. I'm selling them for $15 each. Uh, they're not in the shops yet because... Um, and uh, I need a manager. <laughs> <laughs> you need a manager. Oh, we'll, we'll look after that for you. And uh, performance, we, we were, were you interested in doing performance around South? Performances? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm still, I've, I mean, as I said, I'm a musician, not a manager. So, you know, manager, anybody, anybody. <laughs> um, so I've got, you know, I've got contacts up north in Christchurch and uh, further north than that. So I have to, I have yet to sort of get my fingers and meshed in the uh, musical society. Oh, of I've got so, like, some names come to mind immediately, Marcel. Oh, don't worry about that. Excellent. All the best. And oh, thank, thank you very much. Thank you for sharing that time with us. Yep, and don't trip on the didgeridoo on the way out there, will you? No. It makes beautiful best. sounds. Thanks, Marcel. There we have it, Marcel Curran, and that there is a CD, very lemon water and really good stuff. I actually rely on Margot Sutherland to give me as far as musical tastes go, and uh, she's heard it. She really likes it. She's a regular at the Musos Club, so that is high praise for Marcel Curran and his CD. You'll be surprised. If you want to get a copy, contact us here at Mercury Television. Now, coming up, being in front of the camera, as Marcel found out, it's not all glamorous. In fact, we had a little bit of a, a difficult recently, and I haven't seen Nicole Sampson since, so we may find out more on that shortly. Plus an historical site at Gore. That's next.